Sneak B. Back with some more, Hunter Hunter. When we last left off, Gon and crew spent their time searching for the uh, exam site, only to find it was a little bit more difficult than anticipated. And they had to start by going the completely wrong direction. Then they went on a game show, they ran into some Pikachus, and now the Pikachus are flying them, I think, to the exam site, or maybe to the next thing before the exam site, I don't know. You guys did actually tell me, apparently, um, in the original anime, so th there was two, right? Apparently, this is the, the more recent one. Uh, they came out in 2011, but another one had come out, I think, in, like, 98 or 99. So, this is a pretty old manga, really. It's been around for a while. And in that one, though, the story actually moves quite a bit more slowly. And there are actually some things that they don't even really touch upon in this new one. Like, apparently, in the original anime, it showed Liario figure out that a uh, person whose wounds he was dressing was also one of the monsters. Because he given him some kind of injection, and later he comes across a monster with an injection spot in his arm, and he goes, "Oh, that's you, isn't it?" And he figure he figures it out that way. Interesting. So I guess in a lot of ways, this one's like Hunter Hunter Kai. <laughs> Although I believe uh, the other one didn't go as far as this one did. I think that one like caught up with the the manga, and then I guess just stopped. It does kind of wonder what why did they decide to reboot it entirely? Why not just continue with the one that they had started before? I guess maybe new studio. They just wanted to start fresh again. I think a studio's Madhouse, right? So they did they did series like Death Note. I think they're known for making a lot of really quality, uh, high quality animes. I think Thumb and Bones are like the the two like. Studios that you really want under your belt. Oh, right. I, did they did they do uh, One Punch Man? Was that them as well? Or was that Bones 2? No, that, I think that was them. And that was, you know, I mean, the animation quality, that was like pfft, fucking insane. And while there hasn't really been a whole lot of action yet, I mean, again, beginning, not that surprising. Um, I could tell the animation quality for this is, is really impressive. Anyway, I realized last episode, uh, I forgot to do my comment of the day. Oh, no, I... I totally, it totally slipped my mind. This this change in format kind of threw me off a little bit. But I shall make up for that this episode. Anyway, last episode, SPFH01 said... Actually, you know what? I, I just want to throw out there, SPFH01. What is the, the origin behind that name of yours? Does that mean something? Does it look like a word if I look hard enough? Yeah, Sephiroth? Is it? No. I don't know. <laughs> I was like... That cannot possibly be the right way to say your say your username. Were you going to type your name in? They just like smack the keyboard and you're like, that's my name. <laughs> anyway, last episode he said, and now back to the adventures of Green Goku, Blonde Sasuke, and the love child between Phoenix Wright and Seto Kaiba as they set sail to find the one piece of the Dragon Balls to become the Hokage of the courtroom while screwing the rules because they want money. Yes. <laughs> Ah, finally, it's all making sense now, guys. Every anime in existence has come and coalesced into this one beautiful anime full of everything you could possibly ask for. We got beam clashes, we got ninjas, we got stretchy limbs, we got battles that, that only last five minutes but actually take 30 episodes. Ah, the classic tropes we've come to know and love. <laughs> all in Hunter X Hunter Z Shupid and Final Mix point to Kai Peace. <laughs> God, I love that show. <laughs> anyway, SBFH01, your hilarious comment is the reason why you are comment of the day. Anyway, I'm kind of hoping this episode they actually finally get to the site. I'm hoping they're still not like looking for this one because I, I do kind of want to see like what does it entail? Is it, are they going to do what like the Naruto guys did where it's like, oh, the tuning exam, so maybe we'll have some one-on-one uh, -on -one battles or team battles or or something. I mean, it, it's it's really kind of interesting because I still feel like the the term hunter is so loose. Like, there's got to be like a bunch of different types of hunters. So, so I feel like there's got to be different classes that you take, right? Can't just or different exams for different types of hunters. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm curious to see where this is going. Oh, by the way, one other thing, you guys told me in regards to the voice actors. Oh man, this is a good one. So apparently. The Japanese voice actress for uh, who does Kurapika here is also the voice actress for. Are you ready for this? Freaking Makoto from Yakuza. Yes, everybody's favorite girl. Holy shit! Never in a million years would have figured that out. I mean, granted, she's putting on a, a much deeper voice here to, you know, sound like a young man. But oh my god, it makes me like Kurapika even more. I think actually out of the out of the characters here, out of the three uh main ones, I, I think so far I think I like Kurapika the best. He seems he's very interesting and I, I want to learn more about him. Uh Gon's nice, but he's kind of he's kind of simple so far. And Ligario, it's I don't know, we don't know too too much about him. He's a bit of a hothead though. But all right guys, 
Hunter x Hunter episode 3. Let's get started. Okay. Rivals for survival. That kind of almost rhymes. Rivals for survival! Oh, yep, we reached it. Zalbon City. Okay, look. These people are shopping for goods. That means that there is... There is some form of commerce here. I don't understand. Why aren't the buses late? Take people there then. I mean, I guess you want to be all sneaky and shady and mysterious and crap, but I mean, that's just bad for business, all right? That's just dumb. Let me go ahead and stuff all the fuck out of my economy just so these hunters can look mega badass. <laughs> oh, a panda frog. It's a panda that's made it with a frog. Wow, that sounds delicious. Brooks was excavated by from Zavon's underground palace. Yeah, like, oh, shops here. Is that a turtle? What is that? I always like these, uh, when these shows do some world building like this, where you actually see, like, people just living their life and doing stuff. Oh, look at those guys smoking. Are those guys smoking a hookah? Is the monkey smoking too? He's like, oh, ah, ah. God damn it, Jimmy, hurry up and pass the pipe. <laughs> wow, Gon is fucking pumped about this shit. I guess he's, has he never left his, uh, his home on Whale Island? Pretty big. Holy shit, okay. I thought this was supposed to be a secret, guys. It's like, well, let me see it. Where could the hunter's exam possibly be? Maybe it's the tallest building in the fucking city. I wonder if your dad was also like 11 years old or however old you're supposed to be. It still seems like you're way too goddamn young. Oh, oh, he's saying that, that that giant tall building wasn't actually it. Okay, I was about to say, these guys aren't doing that great of a job of keeping a secret if that's true. Okay, all right, this makes more sense. Oh yeah, that's a good shit. Give me some of that food porn, baby. I've come to buy food and level up. That's what Yakuza Kiwami 2 has taught me. Eating is all about leveling up. Oh, oh, secret code. <laughs> that look on his face. <laughs> Nutty <laughs> for three. <laughs> There's gotta be occasionally, you know, like maybe once every couple of years, somebody comes in and just orders that exact thing. And the guy looks at him like, oh, I know what you want. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, come to my special back room over here. Okay, uh. Well, it's pretty dark down here. Then you just walk down there. It's like people just beating the shit out of each other. Welcome to the hunter's exam. Ah, oh my god! I just wanted my fish, dude! Ah! Ooh, is that sake? <laughs> I can't wait for the stick combo. One in 10,000. Hey, that's pretty good. Arigato! Oh, interesting. Okay. So it does seem like you're not like, if you fail the hunter's exam, you fucking die. I guess they're not that savage. Hey guys, if you happen to fail, you can try again next year. Well, that's good. I wasn't really sure how, like, underworldy and, like, backwoodsy this was gonna go. You only get one chance, and if you fail, you're, you're sent to a new dimension. Oh, it's an elevator. Can I have some of that sake while we're going down? Once every three years, okay. Holy shit! He's going full sleaze. Oh! Oh no, they're noble! Cause just like, just wanna have my steak combo! Oh, the list of the most hundred richest people. Wow. I guess... So it's like, dude's hunting for treasure? It's, I guess? There you go, hunters uh, hunting wild game and treasure. Oh, uh, okay. God. Wow. I'm trying to think of what, like, this is comparable to in, like, the real world or even other forms of fiction of like something that is so broad to be like i guess a wizard would that be a broad enough but I, I still if you're a wizard you use magic but this is like if you're a hunter you could be a hunter of a bunch of different stuff so many different types of hunters protecting people in the natural order i mean what are you hunting no hunting justice i guess right yeah <laughs> for justice somebody call fucking fulbright Damn full right! <laughs> I love Kirby, he's awesome. Oh my god, guys, alright, we get it! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh god, wow, we just went down 100 floors. Saved by the floor bell. Oh wow, alright, there's uh, quite a few people here. Okay, who we got? Oh my god, the monkey came! Holy shit, guys! I knew it. I freaking knew it. That monkey was pre-gaming before the big show. Getting some of that hookah in because it gets him jazzed up for the hunter's exam. Oh, hey, they, they each have numbers on them too, don't they? They are slightly less stupid. Huh? <laughs> well, thank you, little jelly bean man. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, now if I were Phoenix Wright right here, I'd be like, the hell are you supposed to be? But now we're just gonna just take that as it is. Is that a race of people? Are there a race of jelly bean people that live in this place? Because if there are, I want to know everything about them. 404. Error. <laughs> I feel like that might be a bit of an unlucky number there. 405. Thank you, Jelly Bean. 16. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So it's going in order, showing this. It does indicate then the uh, order that we arrived in, right? So this guy's 16. He showed up here pretty early. Holy shit, dude. Whoa. 
35th attempt? Ooh, man, I don't know. I feel like after 30, I might be like, maybe this just isn't the job for me. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't something to brag about, dude. This poor human being. Ah, you smell funny. Tompa. 255. That is one fat fuck. Bor Bourbon the Snake Charmer. That's <laughs> the whole crushes. I like how you look at the snake comes out and it gives him the stick as hell eye. You stole my last cheetah snake. I shall remember this. The snake just looks at him like, come on, man. We still gonna, you still talking about that? That was three weeks ago. Silence. Remember who's the snake charmer here. I like to think of myself as a human charmer. Badara the Kung Fu Master. Oh my God, it's Master Roshi. I mean, Jackie Chung. What the fuck is up with that kid in the center there? Amori, Imori, and Umori. Yeah, let's go ahead and make our kids' names as convoluted as humanly possible. So we got the smug one, the serious one, and the coked up one. The huntsman, wow. That's a... Uh, specialized in killing. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying your sentence there. <laughs> specializes in killing all manners of creatures. <laughs> By blow darts and clubs. Okay, that's a funky little blow dart thing you got there. Outfit's interesting. Sort of a Shakespearean in style. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I think that's the guy from the intro. Did he just accidentally bump into a little bit and then his arms start dissolving? Was that payback for bumping into him or does it just happen if, if you happen to touch him, that's what happens? Ow. See, this guy, God, this guy looks like... It really does. It makes me think of Kefka if he were a JoJo a JoJo character. Jesus, man. Okay. Number 44, Hisoka the Magician. <laughs> oh, okay. That's always a good sign. He till he all but killed an examiner. Would they really let a guy like that back again? Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, Lyra's thinking what I'm thinking. So, okay. So, so the person that actually grades them changes every year in addition to the contents itself. I guess that way you can't just train... For, I mean, well, then how are you supposed to prepare for whatever it is? I guess the point is you, you can't. You just have to be ready. It doesn't seem terribly efficient. So what, if an examiner likes you enough, even if you're a crazy psycho fuck, you can get through. <laughs> anyway, no one likes him. Yeah, I could probably guess that. I think I'd probably be just more terrified. He's got like the, the card face on him, the hearts, the diamonds. Well, there's clearly some, some kind of superpowers about this. Uh, oh God. Oh no. Oh, no, I knew. I was like, no, guys, don't. I had a feeling. Come on, man. We just heard this shit earlier. We were talking about these guys that love to come in and just shit on the rookies. Don't trust this guy. He's done this 35 fucking times. Don't trust his soda. Gonna probably roofie us and give us his weird herpes or something. No, no, don't drink it. Don't do it. Come on, Kerpiki. You're smart of this. I know you are. Oh, oh, my God, no. It's just gonna make us poo ourselves. Great. That's great. And there's the reason why you smell funny. Ew, that's so gross. No, man. No, three days? Wow, that is some savage soda. No, no, God! Oh, oh, time for Leorio. Okay, so you guys told me, apparently, like, this is based in, like, a world that's, like, not Earth or something. And their language, the written language, is based on the katakana of... Uh, the Japanese, and it's based on syllables. So you can actually see it. You're pointing out how, like, the symbols of the Japanese and their own symbols here are similar, but not quite the same. Each are four for a different syllable. I see. Interesting. <laughs> wow, Colm really went for a big gulp there, too, didn't he? <laughs> Go repeat it, though. He's like, he's like, nope. Nope. I eat lots of grass, so I know when things taste bad. <laughs> God, you are just a little weirdo, aren't you? <laughs> this wild mountain kid. But Liario figured it out. He knew it tasted bad. Kurapika, I don't even know if he tasted it. He just started pouring it out. Yeah, they're too sharp. Oh, hey! That's that the guy that I thought looked like Saitama earlier. I think it was in the intro. Two, number 294, Hanzo. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He looks like, he looks like a, a cross between Saitama and Ikaku <laughs> from Bleach. <laughs> I'm actually a ninja. <laughs> oh my god, look at those glorious eyebrows. The ultimate ninja scroll. His voice is familiar. It sounds a bit like Ichigo's voice actor. I don't know if that's right, but it's, it does sound a little bit like it. No, don't drink it. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with his neck? What's he doing? Just making a clickety click sound. Like a machine or something? God, it looks like, uh, it's that guy with all the needles on his face. Like horror movies. Clickety clickety click. 
<laughs> Nicholas? This little fat boy. Oh, he's a little, he's a little know-it-all. Oh, man! I say he was 64 years old. The second highest number by one person. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! That kid's like voice. Already first off sounds pretty adult, but then the moment he turns his head and looks at him, he goes, It's just something gets a lot deeper. Tompa, the rookie crusher. <laughs> He's like, ah! Ha! That's right, you fat little shit. Oh! It's the- It's the kid for the intro! There he is! Oh my god, is that albino Bart Simpson? <laughs> he look with the, it's like a little kid who got a little skateboard. <laughs> yeah, more than- and Sorry, did he actually drink it all and he's, what, unfazed by it? Wow, he's got a, just a really sturdy stomach then. Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> oh. 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 Number 99, Kilua. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? What's up with this season of Hunter Hunter? <laughs> Wait, it's only season one? The fuck? Whatever, man. You're gonna be going for a good 36 times failing here. What the hell is that? We've got a lot of weirdos here, don't we? Oh, hi there. Hello there, sir. Is that Pickle Rick? <laughs> Does he have a mouth? Oh, okay, you can't actually die from this. That's a that's a possibility. Seriously injured or even dead. <laughs> the monkey's like, I could die? What the hell? Nobody said that? 404? I thought there were 405. Or I guess there's a zero. <laughs> Look at his funny walk. Ah! That's a big ass stride that man's got. Oh, that's what's happening right now. I see a test of endurance. All right. Mental stress of not knowing. I, I guess. I mean, I mean, you gotta get there eventually. <laughs> Is that little fat kid really gonna be able to keep up with all of them? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, see, he's 404, but it's four, he's 405. So I'm a little confused by that. Unless. They're counting a zero or something. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, I'm glad that we, we finally actually got to the exam site and I've already gotten started on it. Looks like we got a glimpse of all the, the different characters there. So we got the magician guy, uh, the skateboard kid, Saitama dude, the little dorky kid on his computer, guy with the weird, like, balls and stuff all over his face, and of course, our, our three guys. I'm thinking just based on the introductions there, it does seem like, his name's Hisoka, the, the magician guy. He seems like he might be like the sort of the main antagonist here. Although one of these other guys could end up surprising us. I mean, clear, and clearly the skateboard kid is gonna be significant because he keeps showing up in the intro. He seemed really young too though. Like, I don't know if, would he be about a Gon's age? I don't know, he looked, maybe like he could even be younger than him. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'll be curious to see how this next part goes. Cause it just seems like, okay, we're, we just need to follow the guy. They were saying, it's gonna affect our mental fortitude, so we just, like, I'm not knowing how long it's gonna be, but I mean, you do know that eventually we're going to get there, so, I mean, unless it's gonna be, like, days, maybe. That guy who's who's moving ahead of them almost seems like a machine, like, the way he's, like, just walking, and I think it, it seems sounds like his joints are going, like, arr, arr. but I'll, I'll be curious if there are, like, any traps or something to stop him, or if it's really just, you just run. And run and run until you can't run no more. Ooh, really good. Yeah, this is this is starting to get to that point where we're like, ooh, like, where if I was watching this like just by myself, I'd be like, oh man, that's really good. Let's watch a few more <laughs> and then start binging the fuck out of it probably. But no, I shall restrain myself. And also because it'd be really difficult if I, like so far, these episodes have been packed with lots of stuff and content, you know? So it's, it's hard for me to, to go like, okay, I could do another episode and edit it all into one. I think if I do another one, it's gonna be tough for me. But I'm sure there, you know, I mean, this is like 140 some episodes long. You know, it, it happens with a lot of shonen. After a while, there's always gonna be a point where they, they start to stretch things and things like, we're just, you know, they start repeating themselves and doing things that we already know. And in moments like that, that's when I'll really start skipping over probably parts and going like, okay, come on, we've already seen this shit. Right now, everything's just, it's just new. New, new, new. So it's a lot to talk about, a lot to react to, and uh, I think enough to, to keep me occupied. So, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already become a Peaky Penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I'm I'm really enjoying this so far. This is uh this is fun. I'm it's it's got me it's got it's got that feeling in me like like ooh oh and I'm really I'm really excited. I want to see see where this goes. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as well. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!